Yeah, the guy that I was telling you, he, he had to pay 800 grand for the mansion tax. Ooh. Just in tax? Yeah. Or? I believe it was for the year. It might have what? been more, more little 800 more. 800 grand. 800 That's grand. like buying a house every yeah, year. Yeah, I think a nice, nice house. I'd rather buy a bunch of small houses and chain together. Seriously. Have like a, a mansion, quote unquote. Wow. And I guess it's called. Yeah, tax for that too. <laughs> <laughs> Multi house connected on the vacation home tax. Yeah. I, I, honestly, I don't know how long. I want it might have been a year, might have been two years, but his bill was 800 grand. Shit. Even that's, if it's 10 years, 800 grand. Yeah, that's a lot of money. That's more money than I'll ever make, maybe. <laughs> nah. But it's something a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. That is fucking nuts. I take like 16 years to make that much money. And that guy, that guy's, uh, I never talked to the guy who actually was a mentoring guy because he's too cool for me, but <laughs> like his, his, his workers, like his employee, once we had to ask him, uh, like when people do wires, because wires are a high risk. So you, you have to ask the customer, like, why are you wiring this much money to this person? You know, like, what is it that you're doing? Like, what are you buying? Like, just ask them, you know? And that, like that guy's manager who owns a mansion, he got, he got kind of pissed. He's like, because we had to ask him, like, why are you wiring, why did you wire, like, 800, that was for the mansion tax, actually, like, like, why did you wire 800 grand? And he's like, who are you to ask us what we do with our money? <laughs> I'm the bank, bitch. <laughs> and then, like, then, like, the sale, the, the Batman got involved of that deal, and he, somehow he convinced him to tell us, and, and he's like, and then I got the answer from him. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Is it any of your business? Uh, can well, they refuse? Well, I mean, they can refuse. Yeah, they can refuse. But then it's like, that will like, make so us not like you. you yeah. Because <laughs> you make things more difficult for us. You can refuse, but like, I don't know what the consequences. Eventually, there might be some consequence or you might be like, well, screw you then and go somewhere else. Interesting. But for those kind of people, like they probably won't do the screw you because they have so much that usually when they really push and say, I'm not giving you that, they'll usually bend the rules in their favor. Yeah, yeah. You know? Like some guy wants like sign a do- we had to open an account. He provided the wrong document, so we couldn't open the account like that. But then like the salesperson like forced the people the back office to take it. They're like, like you have to take this. Like it's close enough. Just take it. And like <laughs> that's like <laughs> one like arguably illegal, definitely inappropriate. But just because they were such a a big person, you know, they're like they bend the rule for him. Mm-hmm. I hate, part of me hates when I see this, like, that's bullshit, you know, like, I, I see, like, live how rich people get away with things that other people would never get away with, you know. I think it's also a client thing, you don't put them through the same, like, annoying process just because they're, like, they'll bring you more revenue in a sense. Yeah. Because the same shit happens at my job, like, there's certain protocols you gotta do, but if it's, like, really big, it's, like, they kind of jump over everything and then just, like, get to the heart of the matter yeah. and then just, like, hope the rest of the info, like, kind of trickles in. I guess you know. I hate that shit, yeah, it's kind of like when you're friends with somebody and they give you do a, do a special favor, <laughs> but this is like the major lease of that, you know? Yeah, it's <laughs> true. it was like that at EVG too, because yeah. we had banking clients and everybody else. Like the banking clients, like do they got special favors? And they were set up differently, and like yeah, everything was different about them. And yeah, it would be like you're saying, like jump through hoops for them really to make sure that they're 100 percent happy with everything. Yeah, yeah and cool. then later I even found out that. The um, they we were like whining and dining the clients to oh, keep really? them on, and that was like an important thing that like wow. you had to always take them out, buy them tickets to sporting events, oh, give okay. them things for fancy dinners, like so just wow. give them a gift for periodically. Yeah, oh, wow. that's so crazy. Paying like tribute to that's the banking stupid. clients. <laughs> <laughs> they'll do like dinners, like when they close a deal at my place. Like usually they'll go on the dinner, and of course I won't be invited. <laughs> It's like, I grow unhappy. Do <laughs> <laughs> you like the devils? <laughs> I think Adam Sandler said that once. It's bizarre to bring him up, but he's like, when you become rich, like people just give you free stuff, but once that's when you need it at least. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so like, free trip to Jamaica is like, I don't need people that for free. Where'd you see that? Stand up uh, or... Like, Adam or? Sandler said that once in an interview. I don't I remember where, but he's oh, like, oh. it's just funny that like, I got all this crap that people want to give me for free when I don't need any of this, you know? <laughs> I want to dive more into Adam Sandler, man. He's in like a, he's in like a, I'm, like, I'm like half a fan of his. Do you listen to his stand-up? 
at all. I have. I saw. I saw. I, there's a new one special key that I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, that's why I was asking because I saw it. Like I was like, was it good? No, I didn't see it because oh. I was like Adam Sandler because he does like a lot of like guitar stuff too. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, it's like I don't like guitar comedy. Usually, like, I don't. I don't like any musical comedy for the most part. Dimitri just... Martin is like closest I'll come to accepting that. Yeah, <laughs> he almost doesn't count because the music is just kind of like background music. Yeah, and, and he only like, sometimes it'll, they'll both like cooperate. Yeah, it's like five minutes also of the set. Yeah, it's to me he's more like a weird quirky variety show in yeah sense. yeah <laughs> but I was like so, if there's a if there's a chorus in your act then just like fucking go die you know what yeah. i mean yeah. then just go be frank zappa and make crazy music and say whatever silly shit you want on top of it you know true it's like that comedy bull- it's like i know what you're doing you're doing bullshit comedy with bullshit guitar chords and you're hoping that makes a full package and it doesn't Whoa. then that would be done damn jeff you very strong sick of it <laughs> same shit with puppets bro yeah, you think so? No, I guess puppets. There's more merit, honestly. Yeah, there was one comedian who was an asshole. Got, who his like puppet obviously was him, but like he, like the puppet was an asshole. What was that guy's name? He's like one of the original puppet people from like not Jeff Dunham. No, not Jeff Dunham. The like, puppet was really dirty and like an asshole and like, like oh, dark. it's the one that Joe Rogan always talks about. Uh, it might have been that Joe Rogan talked about. Once the guy in the puppet, he he did like the he was like the host <laughs> of a porn awards. Oh really? And he like shifted on the porn stars like it was. Uh, not nah, triumph the insult no, 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 no. but there's one puppet guy he died he died not too long ago oh, culture <laughs> well, that's a nice mug by the way i keep thinking you're drinking coffee and then i'm like why is he drinking coffee and then i'm like that's this water in there <laughs> curb your beast i know man it's terrible but yeah, that puppet, I forgot his name. I remember they were telling a story about him that once he was like bombing at a club because he, like, people didn't like his act. It was too, too dark. Mm-hmm. And then some, like, lady started heckling and then she got up and went to go to the bathroom after she, like, heckled. And he, like, made the puppet say, I hope she, like, something, like, fucked up, like, I hope she falls and smashes her in the sink and dies, like, something fucked up like that. So he was getting up, you know? So that made him hate him even more. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious, though. I think at, at that point in, if, it's like, I've never done a comedy act, yeah. so I don't know. Other than, like, me talking shit, but that doesn't count. You yeah. Know? But uh, I feel if somebody's, like, heckling you, like, that's kind of, like, open game. Yeah. Because they already, they already kind of hate you. Yeah, yeah. And if it's going to mean, like, the rest of the crowd has your back, if you, like, further insult this person yeah, or, like, you... get at them, like, it just makes it better. It makes it worse for them, but better for everyone else. Yeah. And it's like, they kind of started, so it's like, well, fuck you, because... Yeah. Who are you? Yeah, you just gotta be careful because, like, I've seen, like, you gotta do it right. You can go in on them, but if you do it, like, wrong, people will just make things even more awkward, you know? Yeah, but yeah. I think <laughs> it's like, I haven't seen that comp, that puppet act. Yeah. Oh, I've only, like, heard about it, I yeah. think. Yes. Yeah. I still don't know if it's the same puppet you were talking about. Yeah. Talking about. But from what it seems, it was like a very, like, insulting kind of, like, yeah, puppet, like, like edgy puppet. <laughs> so it's like, to say that is, like, to me, that still falls in line. As long as it falls in line within, like, your, yeah, yeah. Your person. You probably haven't seen this because, like, maybe more experienced people wouldn't do it. Although sometimes they do it, like, they get angry at the crowd and then they're like, oh, you, you guys suck. This crowd sucks. Like, they'll say stuff like that. Bill Burr does. It's a Philadelphia. Yeah. That was that? different because they were actually being assholes, though. So he yeah. had, like, a reason <laughs> to go in on them, you know? That's but like, he went in hard. Just, they were just being, like, they were heckling, like, just yelling, not letting people perform, like, just being assholes, something like that. Really? Yeah. yeah, I think it was, like, a big fest. Yeah. Not a big fest. And it fest. didn't just it was happen like Mulder, either. It was, that was everybody, I think. No, right? he was, like, either last or, like... <laughs> and he gets called him out on down the line. But it was yeah. years ago, maybe, like, eight years ago. Yeah, yeah. It, it winds up... It's, like, it's like 20 minutes, maybe, or 18 yeah. minutes, something like that. It's just a whole rant where he shits on Philly and yeah. everyone in there. And then it kind of, like, wins them over. In a weird <laughs> they're way. like, yeah, <laughs> finally, he gets it. <laughs> he, like, shits on the bridge and stuff. And they're, they're, like, they're, like, going, like, wild. Bill Burr is badass. I like Bill Burr a lot. He is. And he kills with that? Just yeah, trying to, he, like, kill him? He, yeah, he starts, like, winning them over for the most part. <laughs> you should check that out. Just type in Bill Burr in Philadelphia. I'm sure you'll find it. Yeah, Bill, Burr, Bill Burr is so real and so, like... He's, like, zen in a sense. Yeah, and so yeah. nice, too, as of recently, especially. And he plays drums now. Like, oh, yeah? He started playing drums, he mentioned, like, a few years ago, maybe. I like and him because he's, like, really a... Sounds sol- good. Sorry. No, that's fine. He's really a solid comedian, and, like, he's seems like... Uh, sometimes I feel like people's, like, uh, philosophizing about their art doesn't match their art. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but he's, like, really has, like, his regular personality and how he talks about comedy and, like, what he did is, like, 
it matches great work. So it's like really cool to see somebody who's passionate, whose work is actually good, you know? I hope you didn't diddle anyone. Yeah, yeah I hope not. I've been having sex with kids. I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah, <laughs> not you, though. I got a lot of movies you can't know. <laughs> you think he'll make a comeback? I don't know. It's hard for me. It's hard. That's a tough one. We're still talking that Louis C.K. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The same thing, though. Nothing else happened, right? No, no. it's still the old. Oh, okay. The old wank and trash. Wank and watch. Like, there's this. Have you heard, you know that, have you heard of Tony Hinchcliffe? Yeah. I have heard the name. I, I don't like him that much, really. A lot of people don't like him. Do you like him? Yeah, I think he's all right. I think people, I don't know, they expect something else out of him. <laughs> I feel like he comes off kind of as a dick, and I guess that's part of the charm is supposed to be. Yeah, it's like I, I don't think they take him seriously. Like I, I think people read like too much into it when he mm-hmm. says shit. Like, cause he'll just say shit if it fits. You know what I mean? And I'm like, I could admire that because I'm always like, you know, saying shit. <laughs> so he does it. Like I saw him with the on with uh, Jake the Snake recently. I think he was on. Oh, I see a big wrestling that. nerd. Okay. So he was like on there, and people were like, oh. Tony Hinchcliffe. So. <laughs> I was like, come on, man. It's like, <laughs> I, I don't, hate I don't him, think he's that bad. I don't hate him that much, but I dislike him at times. His voice is probably like the worst thing about him. But then after that, it gets like its own charm, you know. But he, have you seen that thing that he, he has a thing called Kill Tony? I haven't seen that though. Yeah, but, but yeah, I, I think it's horrible. But like, <laughs> 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 basically, and it's also cruel. And this ties into Bill Burke. Is like basically. It's a, a panel of comedians who are successful, successful enough that maybe you would have heard their name, you know? Sometimes, like, really successful. Like, Bill Burr was on there recently. And, like, basically, they, it's like a, like, the, the, so a panel of comedians who are successful. And then somebody, a random person, like, open mic, like, open micers go up and do a minute for them. And then they judge them. So it was, it's kind of interesting, but, like, I think generally it's very boring and not interesting or funny in any way, shape, or form. But sometimes here and there it's funny, and that was kind of like out of trying to understand this Tony Hinchcliffe, Hinchcliffe character. I have too much time on my hands. <laughs> I, I, I watched that show, <laughs> and like he kind of he's like really mean, you know. And I feel like to the point that like it's not funny; it just comes off as like you're mean, you know. Mm-hmm. It's like and, maybe I gotta watch it separately. But but then it's like then Bill Burr like was there, and I thought Bill Burr is the real deal, so he's like calls him out for that. And he's like, Tony, like, you're just some swarmy asshole. Like, he's, he actually says something like On the show? Yeah. And he's, he's like, you know, why do you have to be just an asshole? You know, he just like, you know, it's one minute. What do you expect? Like, he defends that comedian. You know, he had one good joke. The other one joke didn't work. You know, just keep at it, you know? And then, like, later on, he's like, you know, one day this guy's going to have a show. And I bet he's going to be like this and like that. Like, trying to, like, I think he was suddenly trying to encourage the guys, like, saying, like, look, Bill Burr is saying that maybe one day they'll have a show. He just came off as, like, so nice and, like, good and like called like went in hard on like the bullshit and like he just like was so awesome and on that you know he was just like Tony Hinch like Bill Burr will like eat Tony Hinchcliffe alive you know <laughs> <laughs> I think Bill Burr could eat a lot of people alive yeah. to, to yeah. his credit I just love that because like I don't know like Tony Hinch Hinchcliffe was in this like oh being an asshole I'm like above you guys kind of attitude and then Bill Burr just like you can't handle Bill Burr <laughs> <laughs> and like clearly Bill Burr had like the upper hand you know <laughs> It, it, it was so awesome. <laughs> but maybe he, he also might be like not a uh, how you say it's like he's more shitting on Tony than praising the other guy. He's kind of using this as like yeah you know, yeah. But it's like he's I think they're both aware because well, I think that's kind of like the theme of like Kill Tony right. They're just like shitty to the comics a lot of times like yeah. But I think that can be funny. But I feel like mm-hmm. the spirit sometimes comes off as it's like you're just being cruel. Like you know, it's right. like it's, it's not. You can say horrible things, but it has to be like with the right sprinkle of humor. You know, I can't just say like. I hope you fucking die. Like, that doesn't sound... Unless I, it has to be in some context that I say yeah. those words in some way, you know? Like, if you just say that, it sounds like you're actually saying you hope they die. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you should be... You should, I think you should be free to do that if you want to do that. But yeah, it's entertainment. Like, yeah, I see yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I like the... I like Bill Burr was like... I don't know. He's just so cool. He keeps it real. Man. Yeah. I'm like, damn, that guy's I like... I gotta check out this fucking... Bill Burr guy. Yeah. You know about Bill Burr? I've heard the name plenty of times. You've never seen his comedy? And if I saw his face, I'd probably know. Uh, he's a redhead guy. Redhead? Yeah. Well, he's bald now. I, I was... You know, kind yeah, of like that. Uh, I, <laughs> <laughs> I do know. Wait, he's like very like pasty white Irish looking. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
And he kind of looks like the dude from Shaun of the Dead, if he was American and from Boston. Oh, yeah, kind of, right? And, uh, yeah, no, I, I think I know who you're talking about. He's, re- like, he did a, I remember one joke he did about, like, fast switch muscle. He's talking about, like, the M- does he talk about sports sometimes? Is he yeah, talking yeah, about, like, the NBA players? Player. He's like, the guy, how the guy made, like, a comment about <laughs> the fast switch muscle. All right, I think I do know. I'm, I'm very surprised. He's good. Oh, I thought you knew him. More. I you should watch one of his real quick. Classes. I just want to look up what he looks yeah. like. Just so I I think I know he's legitimately good. He's, he's got a black wife. Yeah, he's really. I funny. always say that because he brings that up in his acts. Like his podcast is funny. Somebody made a channel of his like uh, his like gr- good podcast moments. So like it's like Bill Burr giving this guy yeah. advice, or whatever. <laughs> I remember he used to be on Opie and Anthony. Like, oh, yeah, he'd be there, uh, That's yeah. like the first time I heard of him and like Patrice O'Neill. Yeah, Patrice O'Neill. Yeah. And there was somebody else too. I can't remember. Right Patrice now. O'Neill was funny as fuck on Opie and Anthony. Yeah, that dude was hilarious. Yeah. I watched a lot of his clips. Yeah. Yeah, that so him, yeah. yeah, but he's really good. I'm surprised. Like, I didn't realize he was that like legendary. Yeah, I guess in the comedy like scene. Is a, it's a pretty big or people pay attention to that I'd say he's like one of the bigger names that's like not a fame whore yeah guess. like he doesn't just do shit to do shit I think have, have you seen had, his animated show I have not have you yeah it's pretty good mm-hmm. it's on Netflix well, I guess a cartoon now yeah. called F is, for, F is for Family that he writes mm-hmm. for and I remember he was he was like uh, trying to promote that show and before they were talking about how you know people waste money on ridiculous things and why do people have to fly like in, in so much when just like out of like just greed or whatever you know but then he's like then here i am you know flying across the country to promote a cartoon yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah but i like that bro he's like i feel like he's genuinely like a good person in some way at least So how was your Thanksgiving? It's... It was alright. My father-in-law, I guess, at some point brought this sweater over, so that's the oh, that's that why. I inherited. That's nice. It's like this would be a good actual like running shirt. It is, yeah. It's, it's... Usually I run in like dress sweaters because I don't have any like sporty <laughs> sweaters, <laughs> so I'll be running in like you know a striped like sweater you would wear with a shirt. It's good to have a bright one when you run at night. Yeah, yeah. it's good for that. Especially now after work, everything's dark. Yeah, I know. It got dark so quick. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, like, like I go already dark. You guys have both dropped me off. So, you know, it's like, you know, when you ma- you're you going and you pass the park and then you make the right, like the last kind of like. That long stretch before the bridge. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that spot. Right. That's where I usually go running. And it is like so fucking dark. Yeah, like, I see people running at night and I only see them basically. I mean, like I see them, but it's like I can see how. If I wasn't paying attention to the road, like, every second, you know, like, oh, like, there's, like, like, I look at the radio real quick, or I just, like, check, you know, my rear view, you know, or check something else, you know, Mm -hmm. just because you're always kind of, like, checking stuff. And it's, like, in that split second where I check something, and then I look, like, the dude could be, like, right here, you know? Yeah. Dude, the other day... uh, we were all driving to go and run some air and go to the grocery store or whatever. And, like, coming towards us, like, right in the middle of traffic was this dude on a skateboard. And it was oh, crazy. Wow. It was just like that. It was like, he just was, like, spontaneously there. It was like, Poof. I was like, whoa, what the fuck yeah, is this like guy doing? Yeah. Did you almost hit him? It was like, no, nobody nobody was close to hitting him, but it was just, like, startling. Like, you know, because it's like, if I had been, like, going the like, wrong way. LEDs on you. Yeah. Like, on your joints. So it's like a stick burger. Dude, that'd be pretty cool, actually. And if they, like, flashed, <laughs> make a whole suit of them. Flashing might be a bit too annoying. Like, that guy with the bicycle has all those lights. Yeah, yeah that, that, that. Mario, yeah, he's cool. That guy's insane. Yeah. But, yeah, it is Did you ever read his interview? No. <laughs> What's that? So did you ever read his interview? It's pretty funny. He says, it's like, somebody threw a shoe at me once. And I was like, it's like, now nah, you only have one shoe. Like, I, he was, like, so confused by it. <laughs> <laughs> he's like a war vet though that's why uh, Vietnam oh he was in Vietnam yeah he's Portuguese though yeah no I, didn't, I thought he I didn't even think he spoke English he used to be like our neighbor he's like three that's fine. he would just like get on his bike every morning just fucking peace out and just like run from his demons and then come back <laughs> like, like 12 hours later so what you didn't eat turkey then no just some Argentinian 
<laughs> I had to Google that shit. I was like, what the fuck? I've heard of it, but I haven't ever. I don't think I've ever actually eaten it. It went wild. I suggested it. It's like our breakfast order with more stuff. What's that? It's like our breakfast in a way because there's so much stuff. Yeah, rolling meat. Yeah, it is. I just figured like it's like a meat Swiss roll. Yeah, it is like a meat Swiss roll. I just thought, okay, I, I told because we had a conversation. And I was like, you know, frankly, like I don't find turkey that like appealing. You know, it's like mm-hmm. I don't even think it's like that good compared to other things that I eat. Usually, it's like. Protein, though. What? <laughs> a lot of protein. Uh, yeah. Um, but I, I just, I was like, I don't get it thrilled for turkey. I don't think it's like a big deal. I, I told her I, I, a, a good, a nicely cooked chicken is more appetizing to me than turkey. Yeah. And then she was like, oh, okay. And then she was like, well, what would you want to do then? I'm like, I don't care if you want to eat turkey. Like, I'll eat turkey, but I'm just saying. Like, it's a lot of work, too. It's like 14 hours. Of <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, it's always like a ton of for turkey, too. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it's not that I don't enjoy it. It's cheap, too, you know. It is cheap, right? Surprise. I definitely prefer other things, but I like, I can eat turkey once a year. Yeah. <laughs> no, I can't, apparently. <laughs> Even <laughs> once. But I just figured, because it's like, oh, it's a special occasion. And it's like, on the special occasion, you should do, like, what makes you happy. That's my kind of, like, holiday philosophy. That, like, that would be, like, a real holiday. Although, I guess that's maybe a little misguided, because it... It, like, basically does away with tradition. <laughs> but, you know, it's like, if I have a day off and I get to have a special meal, it's like, why do I have to have a special meal that I don't like, you know? Just because yeah. of the holidays. Hey, like, you don't need to eat turkey. I think that's ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, you could. And I get that it's a traditional thing. But in Portugal, for Christmas, we eat, like, codfish. And it's like, that's our tradition. It's like, yeah. why aren't you eating codfish on Christmas? That's right. But so it, let's make your own fucking tradition, bro. Let's say in Portugal, if you if a family decided not to make a codfish for Christmas, would that be like a kind of strange anomaly? If you, I'd be like, oh, you didn't make codfish. What did you make? Oh, those, can I get some? You know, it's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, it, it might be brought up, but I don't think it's like a a big deal. No, I don't think anybody really cares. For Christmas, we should do codfish. Yeah, style of the Portuguese. <laughs> there's there's different methods. Though. There's like the 365 ways to do it. <laughs> you like a French have it for some like stupid thing. We have it for codfish. It'd be like a good cookbook. <laughs> it is a good. It is. That's a real cookbook. Codfish. 365 yeah, ways. Different. Day, different way every day. Uh, for a year. That's how, that's how much we eat that shit. <laughs> it's crazy. It's you're, not even a national fish. Your parents didn't push for you to go there? Um, I think they just like gave up on that because <laughs> they know that it's so unlikely that we'll go and They eat. figured out your pattern of rejection. Yeah. <laughs> and then, <laughs> so they, yeah, they didn't even bother asking this year. <laughs> my dad, and then it, it was kind of sad, I guess. It was like, my parents were supposed to go to my dad's mom's but then my mom was sick and she didn't go so only my dad went to his mom's so your mom was like alone yeah that's fucked up but maybe i don't know what is she sick with she said she had a cold Mm. my sister just ate with burns parents which i'm actually kind of jealous of because you know they're like ecuadorian or whatever so (laughs) she got to have like hispanic thanksgiving which is the superior thanksgiving (laughs) if you ask me like like, see, like, that's the difference is, like, Wolfram's mom used to cook turkey, mm-hmm. you know, and I would eat over there on Thanksgiving sometimes, pretty much every year. And then it would be, like, that would be, like, crazy food. Like, it would be, like, different, like, rice, like, not the white rice she usually made, but, like, like, yellow rice with beans. That would be, like, a special occasion rice. And then all this other shit and turkey. So it was like all the stuff, and it was like at that point, it's like, yeah, I'll have some of that turkey. And of course, the turkey was delicious, but it's like the spread, <laughs> which I understand is not unusual for like Hispanic no. households. And it's just so awesome because it's like there's so much shit to eat, and it's like all good. I don't know how they do it. Because, like, yeah, the other like European thing, or American, right? Because they don't do Thanksgiving in Europe, but like the American, like, like you were saying, yeah, cranberry sauce. Like, cranberry sauce is whack. Is that, who the fuck? <laughs> but I never had it. This was like a novelty. Yeah, was like eating candy and turkey. Sure, <laughs> but it's really like not good, you know. And it's just like, and then it's like, what else you got? Stuffing. All right, stuffing to me is like the best. Flavor. I still don't know what that is. I was like, I was confused. I was, I was a little I, scared <laughs> eating it. I was like, is this like turkey? Gum? This like, looks like insulation. It does. Yeah. 
uh, it's also I think a matter of like it's funny just like cause I usually I'm usually not too crazy about traditional Thanksgiving dinner. I think mm-hmm. it's like okay, you know, yeah, because usually they eat Sam's and I but my parents were never cooked that obviously that's like a white person thing, right? Mm-hmm. And then I went to Stacy's parents. I was telling Ian, and they cooked that traditional meal, but it was delicious. It's just like it was. It's like eating a different meal, you know. Normally, mm-hmm. I think, oh, that meal is pretty blah, you know. But know like when people make experience. it, when people make like it's just a difference when somebody makes it extremely well and somebody who just kind of knows how to do it. Right. It's just like there's no comparison. Like maybe part of it is that too, because usually I feel that way. Like I don't even like this food that much, you know. It's like. Right. But then it's like you have like a pro make it. It's like whoa. Like maybe I do like. Brussels sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. Yeah. But sure, you're still like, of course, there's truth. Like, you still prefer some things more than others anyway, you know? Yeah, but it does sound like you had, like, an incredible Thanksgiving. Yeah, like, holy crap. And I usually, I figure, like, I would have said it was good even if it wasn't because it's just to be nice. Or but you, but you didn't have to lie that time? Yeah, but I'm like, damn, it's actually great. <laughs> <laughs> Did you include actually? Uh, I told them it was, I told them it was delicious. I told yeah. them that. That's good. The matambre was good, too. I enjoyed the matambre. What about you, Jeff? Did you go somewhere? Or did you stay with your parents? Yeah, we went to uh, my, my, like, our mutual family friend's, like, house over there. Was that nice? It was okay. It was, (laughs) it wasn't bad because it was, like, uh, you know, it's people I know, and I don't, like, I was thinking about it, and, like, I don't really mind going out for one day to, like, see people Mm -hmm. that I know. Mm -hmm. I was like, it's fucking once, and they're feeding me, like, a shitload of food, and I was like, we'll hang out. It's like, it'll be all right. It won't be that bad. Like, don't be, like, a little bitch about it. It just sucks because there was, like, (laughs) it was, like, pretty much everyone was old there, except me. You know what I mean? And then uh, my, you know, the daughter, like, she came by eventually because she's, like, a dispatcher. Okay. So she has like weird hours, so she got out late, and uh, I saw her for a bit, and then we were like chatting and catching up. But, uh. She's your age? Yeah, she's like a year older. Okay. But, uh, you know, that's basically the same thing. The um, food was good? Yeah, it was like, I mean, we had. Do you have tradition or do you have a different style? No, so they gave us appetizers first, and it was like, you get like, I don't know what you call them, but it's like a risol, and it's basically just, uh, I guess it's like a shrimp empanada kind of, but it's deep fried and it's more like breaded deep fried than like an empanada would be. It's just like a shh. And then we had like the, the codfish cakes. You ever have those? No. Those are deep. It's like you put like bits of codfish and like potato and like green, that green stuff, like cilantro, onion and stuff and roll it into like a meatball, like a wide sausage meatball and you deep fry it. And you eat that. That shit's good. Sounds yummy. And then they made uh, the chorizo bread, but they, she puts bacon in it, which is like an American twist. And I was like, <laughs> what's this? You know? And I, it's like, she, she, it's like, God bless her, because like I think every time she knows like I'm going to be, I don't know if she does it on purpose, but if I'm there, like she makes that shit all the time. She comes to our house, like she brings it. <laughs> like, yeah, I get so stoked. I'll eat like five of those slices. Like, it's so good. Yeah, then it's sliced up, so there's, like, bits of chorizo and bacon. And it was cooked inside the bread. So the bread, like, grew with it, you know, and stuff. Nice. So all the juices in there and shit. <laughs> so that was the appetizer and then, like, some stuff with dip. And then, yeah, we had turkey and then, you know, some fries and, you know, crazy rice. Some, like, long asparagus thing. And then, nice. I guess I think there was stuffing, too. And then there was, you know, the other random shit. But then the real shit came out, which was the dessert. <laughs> and there was like eight desserts on the table. And it was just fun. There was like tiramisu, which I was telling about. Oh, yeah. And like three different kinds of cakes and like rice pudding and like flan. And, and they had coffee. And, uh, like I gotta go to the bathroom. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I need like a lifeline too. I had to, I took a shit there too. That was like the first time I ever took a shit in the house. I was like, oh, man. I was like, I took a shit. And, and there was no vent in the bathroom. I was like, I ain't not gonna vent in 2018. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, there was like a spray, kind of like a deodorizing. I'm just like I pray to God and like close the door. Lord have mercy. That's it. You're their guest. I'm sure they'll yeah. treat you kind. And it's like somebody came, like uh, the daughter, like came like after, like I took a shit, basically. Like, Go figure. A bit like not like that long after, but like half hour or something. And I was like. And she's like, oh, I'm just going to go to the bathroom. Like, I could hear, because the bathroom was upstairs, and I could hear them through the stairs. And I was like, oh, God, I 
hope it's gone. <laughs> I hope that spray <laughs> fucking did something. Because I was like, she, because she's kind of like a loud mouth. Like she'll just say shit, you know. Like she'll, uh, <laughs> she'll go burn. Like shit so she be walking down. I was like, woo! Like it smells like shit. Like, like I could see that happening. I was like, oh, fucking Christ! I'm like, they know it's me. Like I was, like, <laughs> I was the last one. Up. I don't want to get called out like that. You're freaking out. Yeah. Now I freaking. I was like, ah, oh, shit. I gotta prepare for this. <laughs> I think I'm gonna Did you say anything? No, I shouldn't say anything. It's Thanksgiving. So yeah, I was like, she got that, get that shit to herself. <laughs> <laughs> Should we hack? Yeah, yeah, let's go for it. Yeah.